While most people locked up are looking for all means to bag a plea deal, YFN Lucci is out there rejecting one. No one saw that coming. Being charged with different crimes, most especially murder and racketeering cases, is not considered to be lightly punished. But YFN Lucci keeps thugging them out by consistently trying to prove his innocence. Keep watching till the end of this video to see how YFN Lucci revealed why he really rejected his 20-year prison plea deal. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. YFN Lucci murder charge. It's almost a habit for most rappers to get involved in wild charges with the law. Murder cases aren't one of the cases that top the charts, but YFN Lucci got caught up in the wrong way and found himself answering questions to the murder mystery of a man in Atlanta. YFN Lucci has tried to steer clear of crimes in his career and hence his compliance with the police after a warrant was issued for his arrest. The rapper was said to have been in connection to a particular murder incident of the death of a man named James Adams. YFN Lucci turned himself in and surrendered to the police on the 13th of January 2021. The rapper was charged with a couple of counts including aggravated assault, felony murder, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and participation in criminal street gang activity. He remained in the Fulton County Jail without bond for a while before his case was heard. Just a day after YFN Lucci turned himself in, an alleged 911 call which was released by TMZ, which was in connection to the shooting incident that happened on December 12, 2020, that got him arrested. It was reported that the alleged 911 phone call was the reason that made his arrest warrant possible. People had their speculations, but trust the police to carry out their investigations. In the leaked emergency call, a woman could be heard explaining to the dispatchers that she just witnessed a white SUV speeding down the street with a man hanging out of the car. We were just walking down the street and somebody just walked down the street with a man hanging out of the car. They just pushed him out the truck and left him for days. Not only did the man get pushed out of the car, as explained by the witness, she included that the man had also suffered a bullet wound to the head, which caused him to be fighting for his dear life before he died. That must have been a very hurtful way to lose one's life. The witness who gave the police a murder case to solve at that time was unable to give any information about the victim, nor his name or occupation. The Atlanta Police Department carried out its investigation and made it known to the public that the victim was 28-year-old James Adams. YFN Lucci reportedly surrendered to the police after his home was raided by the authorities, but YFN Lucci was fortunate enough not to be cuffed out of his house, as he was not in his home at the time it happened. YFN Lucci's records and not enough evidence did justice and helped him get bail from Fulton County Jail. The rapper was reportedly released on February 8, 2021. He secured his release with a $500,000 bond and an additional condition which was an ankle monitor. YFN Lucci must be one of the few that got out of jail really fast with a murder charge. According to his arrest warrant obtained by reporters, YFN Lucci was the alleged driver of the car that drove to a location that inhabited a rival gang known to reside in Atlanta. Our review of the initial evidence made available to us indicates there is no basis for any criminal charges against Rayshawn Bennett. Lucci's attorney, Drew Findling, said during an interview, we will continue our own independent investigation on his behalf. If you think this is a nightmare for YFN Lucci, wait till you hear about his other jail time. YFN Lucci Racketeering Case Luck has not been on YFN Lucci's side in recent years. The popular rapper got to see the inside of a jail again, as he got caught up in another messy criminal case. YFN Lucci had not enjoyed his minimal freedom before having to give it all up when he surrendered to authorities on May 10, 2021. Another arrest warrant was issued in his name on racketeering charges. The 30-year-old rapper was part of the names listed in a 75-page, 105-count racketeering indictment focused on factions within the Bloods gang. This indictment is unprecedented, period, in Georgia. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis said while addressing the case, There's been a huge spike in violent crime. I committed to bring the best and the brightest minds here, 
many of which you see sitting here right now, so that we could deal with this issue of this violent crime. The rapper is not backing down on him being innocent of these charges. He and his lawyer Drew Bindling have continued to maintain the rapper's innocence in every way possible. He's not a gang member, his attorney said. What he is is an internationally recognized musical artist that is a triple platinum winner that has performed all over the United States and all over the world. YFN Lucci Plea Deal Rejection While being on his way to prison for a very long time, accepting a plea deal or getting discharged and acquitted if not found guilty of the crime, YFN Lucci is playing the odds and hoping for his release based on his innocence. YFN Lucci has decided to reject a plea deal offered to him by Georgia prosecutors in his racketeering case. The rapper believes going to trial and clearing his name is the best way to go. Fanny Willis, the Fulton County DA, was willing to grant the rapper a 20-year sentence while serving 17 years in prison, and in exchange he would have to plead guilty to multiple charges. YFN Lucci's attorneys, Drew Findling and Gabe Banks, made a statement that explained that the plea offer is absurd. And the rapper is still waiting to go to trial after two years and six months in custody. It looks like YFN Lucci will still have to see Fulton County Jail as his home during this period till he sees the trial through. The Fulton County Superior Court judge also denied the rapper's bond on June 1, 2023. One of YFN Lucci's attorneys thought he would get through to the judge's skin when he mentioned the status of the rapper, but the judge wasn't even moved as he told the attorney that the defendant will remain in a no-bond status at this time. Additionally, this court revokes any bonds previously issued in this case. District Attorney Fanny Willis also mentioned how her prosecutors are using a YouTube video Lucci featured in as a part of the racketeering case against him. We think it sends off a very strong message to the public that no matter who you are, you have to follow the law and the rules, and you will be evaluated the same. Drew Findling and his colleagues weren't letting Fanny Willis off the hook easily as they shaded the DA that she should be more concerned with newer, high-profile cases that have completely monopolized the court's resources and pointed out her utter inability to prosecute complex cases. Do you think YFN Lucci will pull through and be able to maintain his innocence? Or do you feel the rapper may end up regretting his decision not to accept the plea deal? Join the conversation and let us know in the comment section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.